Okay guys, I want to show you these uh, Supo motors that I get from Altitude Hobbies. Um, I got a motor in ESC. This is a 40 amp ESC. I get the motor like for $25 and the ESC for like $20. So you got $45 in the whole setup. Um, <clears throat> these come from AltitudeHobbies.com. And I have a motor mount. Um, your prop adapter, all the screws, and all your little connectors that you're going to need, and the motor. Um, this is a 2814. Uh, it's the same as a um, Parks 480. E-Flight Parks 480, except it's a little lighter, and it has 100 more watts of power. This thing has 380 watts of power. So uh, these are good like for your T28s and your Corsairs. Um, <clears throat> they have a lot more power. And uh, the motor mount is the same. Now uh, you will have to uh, solder on all your bullet connectors. So I'm going to do that now and show you how easy that is too. So let me get this stuff out of here. I'm like setting it all out here where I can get to it. It's not as bad as you think if you haven't done any soldering. That's what I'm going to show you. I've got a, a Radio Shack 40 watt solder, it's a soldering iron, and a little helper hands. I like this thing, it's a lot easier. And I use uh, 60 40 flux core solder. All right, and I put the female in on the uh, ESC. And as you can see on these bullet clips, they got a little hole here. I like putting it towards the front of me so I can see when it is full. Okay, my soldering iron's getting hot here. Clean it off a little bit. Make sure my sign on is hot. And uh, these wires come pre tinned a little bit, but I like putting a little bit more on them and just seeing and just get them warm a little bit more. Okay, so I know my wire is pre tinned now. And I'm going to stick it right in here, put a little bit on my tip again. I like heating these tips up just so that I can tend them and I can see that it starts to melt and it's getting to the right temperature and going to the bottom of the of the cup. Then I just stick these two together. So it's in there. Now I can fill this cup right on up and I, I'll watch it. It'll come through this hole in the front and once it's full and up the wire there you go there's one done now let it cool a minute and as you can see that's nice and tight we're going to go ahead and do the other one as you can see, they're all full. They're all tight. I always check them. I always pull them a little bit. They're nice and tight. And then the next thing I do is I put some heat shrink on, slide it right over, and I keep it close to the end or a little over. Then take a lighter and go ahead and heat shrink that on. And it covers the bullet connector. I use different colors, but you don't have to. Um, you really don't. Um, but I use different color heat heat shrink because I do have it. But as you can see, um, soldering as long as you got a decent gun, um, it's not bad. It doesn't take all that much time. And uh, 
it's a nice thing to have if you're going to stay in the hobby because you you know you are going to want to solder some things different okay another good thing about these are you can put whatever plug you want on them I need um, just a little bit more here and uh, instead of just putting the, the, the clip on what I'm gonna do on this one is um, I bought I use the banana plugs because I use the Tunergy batteries and the um, sky lipos and they have the uh, four millimeter bullet connectors our, our banana the four millimeter, millimeter banana so um, I get these from hobby parts and it comes with the plug already on it so what I'm going to do on this one is put uh, another two females bullet connectors right on the end of this ESC yeah altitudehobbies.com uh, great prices great power I've never had a problem um, with any of those okay this one's just a little long so I'm gonna cut it off just a little bit Put the black on the black, cover the end, put the heat shrink on here. Uh, I don't know if this one's going to fit, but it did. Put the heat shrink on here. And there I go, I got my ESC set up. But this way, I figured I did it this way because I had my plug. And if I want to change plugs on this ESC, it's just a matter of uh, putting another plug in. in. I do this too on my motor too later once I figure out, I, I check everything. And everything's going the right direction. Is I'll put another piece of heat shrink over plug this in and slide the heat shrink back over top of both of them and this will also help keep it from coming unplugged I'll cut another piece of this Slide it over. Go ahead and plug this in. Cover both of them. A little more heat shrink. Tighten these up. And there I go. It's a little long, but I rather have enough cord. All right, so there's the ESC. Now all I got to do now is do the motor, and I'm gonna try to keep enough to show you um, how to program this. Okay, I got my uh, end soldered on to my motor, and I'm already put the motor mount on. Um, these holes are chamfered for the screws that that come with it, so you want to make sure that that's facing you, and then. Uh, I use a screwdriver with a little magnet on the end and I'm getting ahead of myself I use the the uh, Loctite too just a dab of Loctite just to make sure they don't go anywhere um, use the blue so you could get it off later it's not permanent and just get it started this is for you newbies uh, 
you gotta learn somewhere so but these are great motors like I said um, for $45 um, and it has more power than the E-Flight 480 uh, for, for $45 uh, you get the, the ESC2 and uh, the E-Flight 40 is uh, I think like $50 just for the motor that's not counting the ESC so you can't beat it and have more power too so and altitude hobbies I've found they have great service um, I haven't had any problems with these motors and uh, that's why I'm sharing this with you guys I got a little battery that does pretty good screwdriver I know it tightens them really good I'm running like four or five of these super motors they make them all the way up I got them in my AJ slick and my 542 those have like 700 and some watts of power no little bigger motors <clears throat> now as you can see the 540 comes with um, the motor mount and for a 480 and as you can see it fits perfect so for the planes that call for the 480s you're not going to have a problem for them fitting so let me go ahead and bolt all this up and then I'll show you how to program the ESC okay guys I've got the uh, motor and ESC all plugged in here and ready to go now these ESCs come stock with a default set for the NICAD. Um, if you look up when you when you get them, uh, you can go online and uh, sometimes it'll come with a paper to tell you how to set it. But I've done them so many times. Uh, the 10 amp to the 40 amp will have three settings. Uh, the first one is for lipo. The second one is for the NICAD, and the third one is for the brake. Um, the default is set off for the brake, and the default is for the NICAD. So we have to set it for uh, the uh, LiPo. Now, um, what you do is you turn your remote on, and um, set the throttle to full make sure your uh, prop is off and when you plug it in you're going to hear a, a one beep a pause and one beep and that's the lipo <clears throat> um, the NICAD is two beep a pause and two beep which I don't want because I'm running lipo and the brake is three beeps but I'm, I'm gonna leave the brake alone all we got to do is set the lipo so when we plug it in then you'll hear it going there's see there's the two beeps two beeps and there's three beeps so I want the one beep so then I shut it down then you hear it beep again then you hear it go into uh, things so now I'm in the lipo mode uh, so now everything is working so let me check this okay um, I'm going backwards so now what I need to do I'm gonna unplug it uh, I'm gonna change the black and the blue it's really any two so now I'm gonna put the black to the blue and the blue to the black I've changed two of the leads <clears throat> I'm going to plug it back in again. Okay. Now. Now I'm spinning the right way. So that's all you got to do to um, set the ESCs on here. Uh, now the bigger ESCs, they have more programming, so you'll have to get into more of them. But uh, once you set it for LiPo and it goes down 
that's fine. Uh, everything else is good. So that's basically it. Pretty simple. I love these motors. Um, now I will come back and I'll, and I'll put some more heat shrink over, over both of these just to seal them too. So they don't unplug as easy. Um, just to be on the safe side and plus you can see just a little bit. It just I just do it for, for safety reasons. But I love these motors and ESCs. I don't have any problems with them. They have the same bolt patterns. They have more power and they're cheaper. So that's AltitudeHobbies.com. And check them out, guys.